Hello everyone, my name is Karen Cyrus and today I will be demonstrating how to link access to an SQL Server database. So basically I have the SQL Server installed on this virtual machine, it's a um, Server 2008 R2 and the SQL edition is um, also 2008 R2. So we're going to fire this up and connect and on the next end we just have an ordinary client machine which we would access the SQL um, database from so I just have um, Microsoft Access installed on this end here so basically that's going and um, set up the database so we could open new query I prefer writing my um I prefer using the um the command line interface than to be using the GUI. So just fire up um create database create database ensure execute query. So here we just created a database. So if we go we expand the database folder. Uh, yeah, so we see the database we just created here. So we from here now. From here now, we could execute another query. Use insurance. Uh, my spelling is very. Serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use insurance. Create tables. Now we're gonna name the table customer. Set up the environment. We're gonna say every customer has must have an ID. We want it to be int, not null, and um. A primary key primary key next we're gonna have the customer name data type will be virtual over 50 not now address um, addresses are keywords so you can't use keyword for the few names yeah, so address would also be Vacha. Let's put it at 50. I'm not now. Oh, damn. Yeah, from here. Policy, whatever type of policy it is. Vacha. 50. Not now. Yeah, so. I like about right. Uh, let's see what's up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my error. Oh, god damn. I like how we spell insurance. And that's about it. Yeah. So we run this query again. I can clearly carry completed successfully. So here yeah, now, let's just refresh. We go into the insurance database. We watch at the table we just created. Customer. Let's just view just to see that the table is empty. Edit top two hundred rows. Uh, yeah. So we edit top two hundred rows. My machine is really slow. I'm running two. I have two um, VM fire up. So yeah, here we see. The table, everything is null, nothing in the table. So now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna use this Microsoft Access to access that database on the on 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 the SQL Server and populate the fields, populate the tables. So, a few things we need to consider before we we even begin. Um, trying to connect to that, um, that database 
first thing first let's um just see the IP schemes command prompt IP config so here we see the address of the server is dot two we go over on the client side cmd IP config and this address here is dot ten so let's attempt to ping the server alright so we have successful ping so TCP is a two-way protocol once I could ping that once I could ping that server then I'll be able to access my database so that is the first thing to um, consider the second thing we need to consider what will um, cause our um, the connection to not be established is the firewall this is a very important thing as well there's a third thing but I will show you all it I will show you all it lastly I just want to do the um try to connect to the database you would see that it failed and I'll show you the reason why it failed so here let's just check the firewall settings um where is the scrap yeah so we go into the firewall make sure your firewall is off my firewall is off well okay I'm in a domain environment so it will be getting arm um, security from the DC okay so let's attempt to create this connection open Microsoft access open a blank database uh, really don't need this because we're gonna access that database so what we're gonna do is external data ODBC data alright so we're gonna link it okay now we're gonna create a new instance so what we're gonna do scroll down here now the first time I'm gonna run it here it is gonna fail and then I'll show you all why it did fail so what we're gonna do we're gonna connect to INS INS you are here we're gonna connect to the insurance database so basically turn the program it's the insurance database um, the server the name of my server is client server one so from here now windows authentication so when we hit next here it would fail and then i just want to get you all familiar with the error message so if you too have a nice error message you'll know how to fix it so come on look we can fail we got all day yeah so connection fail so it said the server either the server doesn't exist or access denied which is the latter is access denied so what we're gonna do we're gonna come back over on our server and we're gonna check some settings one last setting so we're gonna go into our programs um, configuration tools that's for the SQL Server and we're gonna go into SQL Server configuration manager basically we have to enable make sure that um, create the settings for the remote the remote connection to the server itself so this is the drop down we come here protocols we're gonna go for TCP IP make sure that it is that it is enabled let's just check the IP it's supposed to be on port okay yes port 14 to the tree so everything is enabled here so this is one other thing that could stop it sometimes if you have a fresh installation sometimes it doesn't be enabled so what you will do you come and right click on the TCP IP and enable it that is one thing the second thing which is um blocking the um, the connection is actually um the firewall on the server so basically we gotta allow the remote arm um, connection so open the firewall and we're gonna set some permissions to allow the connection so we're gonna go in um the inbound rules mm, let us take our while to float up New rules. 
Okay, port. Uh, UDP. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, the UDP port would be fourteen thirty four. Yeah, fourteen thirty four, I think. From here, yeah, low connection. Let's just our next, next. Name it something. I'm gonna name mine. Um, access, access who? Ah, uh, access database. Access the database. Yeah. So, we finish with that. We're gonna do it one more time. New rule. Custom. Um. Customize. We're gonna scroll down here and look for our apply to these services. We're gonna look for our server, our SQL server. So yeah, this is it here, SQL Server Manager. You see that cat? Okay, so that's not here. Yeah. And here we go, just a next, 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 next. Next, access database two. Mm. Say okay, it's all good now. So now let's go over on our client machine and try to connect to that database again. So here we're gonna hit link the database. Okay. Um, we're gonna hit new SQL which I access insurance database at server and server one insurance next I shan't connect here now. Uh, so see we get a connection now. Scroll down and we see that the insurance database. Next mm, finish. So now we can test the connection. The connection, the test was completed successfully. Okay. Yep, we want the insurance database. Uh, I need probably need to upgrade my machine. It ain't all that fast, but it's getting the job done. Um, come on, you freezing bastard! Yeah, so basically, we already point to the server. We um we locate the database. So here, a data entry click it stay from on this end. Input data, populate the tables. So the name of the table we created was customer. You remember? This is gonna take a while. Okay, so now we got the database here. Let's open it up and see what's up. So you see here we have the ID, name, address. So let's just enter a little data for kicks for a little joke. Zero 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 one. Name is Karen Cyrus. Address is Lavender. Yes, I'm a Lavendelian. And the policy. Uh, crap, let's say the crap. Right here. Second field. Uh, Kevin Vinson. Port of Spain, total crap. Um, it's just three, two rows of um, data. Um, 
Jean, James, um, whatever. Total crap. So basically, this is the information we inserted into the database. So let's just go on our database side and see what's up with these columns. So go on database. Then I refresh insurance tables and that top. Just a second. I'm gonna gotta save that query. Okay, so. Yeah, so see the data was entered into the database from move on the client side. So thank you for viewing and I hope you all understand and learn something. Okay, bye bye.